Today we're going to be installing a carbon fiber B-pillar halo on a C7 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today John and I are going to be installing a carbon fiber B-pillar halo cover on his C7 Corvette. Now these are available from Extreme Online Store and as you can see this one looks a little bit different. If you go look online you're going to see that it is all carbon fiber and so you could go ahead and do that. It's not a problem. You can install it all completely carbon fiber but since John has already got an exposed uh, carbon fiber roof that has the red on the side we wanted to go ahead and we wanted to um, make it match so before we started this video today we actually we test fit this this unit onto his car and we got ahead and got all the markings of exactly where and we taped this off and then we sent it down to the body shop to have this painted in the same color as his car. So this will, this will all match up. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to install this and um, a couple things that we'll talk about in the video as we're doing it but um, there's one thing that you're going to notice when you pull your um, your cover off, your existing one, and you can use this, you can reuse it if you want to, you just need to be very careful, is there is a rubber seal that has a couple little, two little uh, rubber, um, uh, I don't know, what would you call it, little uh, pins right here that lock it in place here on this side and also up here on this side. And it has some adhesive that goes right down this way here. Now, um, I'll go ahead and I'll put that part number in the video up here in the corner, one of the corners here, so you'll have it. And that number is good from 2014 all the way up to 2019. Um, I will advise you that that part is about $90 from the dealer, so if you need to get one, uh, you can uh, reach out to General Motors, they'll be able to help you out with that. With that number, you might be able to find one on eBay, you never know. Um, but in this case, John wanted to go ahead and he wanted to save his original part and he didn't want to take the old seal off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put another seal back on. Um, and so that will get done before we go to do the installation. Other than that, this is pretty much a direct, uh, direct fit. Um, all these holes are already pre-drilled in the cover uh, ahead of time. Um, and you may need to waller them out just a little bit, just to make them a little bit bigger to make the screws fit just a little bit better. Um, but we really didn't find a big issue with being able to do this. Now, the one thing I will tell you is, is that, uh, you know, I looked all over. I didn't want to screw up the rubber here. Um, and there's really not any instructions anywhere on how to take this rubber channel. Because right here, if you can imagine, this right here is the right where the roof sits, okay? And there is a channel that goes on here and then the rubber locks into this, okay? So um, it's very similar, but it's a little bit different than all the other ones that you've seen before. So pay attention to that in the video. Um, because that's something you don't want to destroy that B pillar rubber okay so anyway we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into the video now and it, it like I said it's not a real hard complex deal as long as you follow the instructions so um, we'll go ahead and jump into it hello everybody um, got the seal out of the package it was pretty twisted from the packaging so we're gonna put it on the heat lamp while I drill these holes I got heat lamp out sitting here so Get it nice and flexible before we can put it on. I'm gonna finish drilling these two holes. I've got those two already drilled. If you look, these two are already, there's a dimple there. You can see where the hole is, where it goes. So we're just gonna drill them out here. We got these holes drilled out to a 3 16 We're gonna get our seal all heated up so it's nice and flexible. Now we're gonna put her on. I'm gonna start pushing these pins in the holes. Go from there. Just like that. 
go ahead and push this side in. That way it's pre-stretched. Now we just got to pull the sticky off. So what John's doing here, guys, is he's just splitting the um, the sticky tape down the middle. So in that way he can guide one side at a time. And basically what he's going to be doing is he's going to be letting the rubber literally sit on that bottom ledge. But he didn't want it to be warped. So he does one side at a time, gets it, he's got it, you can see it's holding it with his finger, and he's pulling it with his other hand. Just take your time with it. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right. So guys, if, if you were using a new one or replacing it, you can just get some new sticky tape and put on your old one. Just be very careful when you take it loose because it's going to be very, very stuck on there. Uh, you don't want to ruin the rubber, okay? But now she's ready to go. She's she's ready to be put on the car. So we're going to start, um, go over to the car. We'll start taking the old one off and we'll get this one on. All right, guys, we gotta take the seal off, and if you lift this up right here, you'll see there's a Torx bit screw right here. We're gonna take out one on each side. We'll start right here. There you go. All right, now that we got this screw out of here, we're gonna flip this up, and we're gonna pull it from the bottom. See, so like this. Just go all the way along here. Once you get it started, you can just kind of go with it. Alright, and that'll get it loose for you. Now you can see with it off, we got some torx bits to pull this rail off of here. So let's start doing that now. I guess Scott's gonna be filming and he ain't gonna be helping as usual. <laughs> so I'll do it by myself. Yeah guys, when we're working on John's car, I kind of let him do all the damage to his own car where I don't feel bad. <laughs> so. Alright, well, uh, you're going to have to yep. do it or I'm going to come around. You're going to have to come around. Yeah, that's what I figured. You still got to take this other screw out, so I'll go ahead and do that and give myself some room here. that screw. They're all the same screws so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Okay. Last one for the front rail. And this should have sticky tape under it. But pop it up. Be careful because you can bend it. I'm sure you can straighten it back but there you go. See it's there you go, now that's off. Now we gotta go to the back. All right guys, we're gonna go to the back. We're gonna use a seven millimeter for these sockets that are going across here. You can see the heads sticking out. You can't miss them. Out. I'm gonna have to push this down just a little bit to get this to clear. Don't paint your fingers. You can see how tight it is right here. You just gotta play with the roof hatch to get it out. There you go. It should come right out now. That there you go. Just like that. 
All right, guys, we got our new part on, the new seals on. We're just going to lay it in place just like where the other one was. I have to adjust this hatch to get it to lay in there. Here, John, I'll, I'll, I'll hold the lid. That way you don't have to fight it. it. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yeah. You need to go up or down? I think I probably just need to come to that side. Go up just a little bit and see if I can get the seal on there. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. There you go. It's going. It's just a tight fit, so... There you go. Help if I could push that under the rubber over there. Okay. Can Come you hold down. the if you hold the hold lid, there you go. I'll do this underneath pull here. The rubber piece out. So, so we're pulling this over here, guys. Sit down a little bit. Yep. Oh, that's kinda tight in there. Shouldn't be. Yeah, it's if tight. It jammed or something? Yeah, it might be. Hang on I a second. Have it jammed, so. Well this rubber Yeah, there we go. There so we go. Just had it jammed in there. There you go. Okay. Yep, shouldn't have been that hard. There you go. Just laying in there. Okay, and there we go. Yep. There you go. There's that. You get a pre glimpse of what it's going to look like, huh? So, what do you think of that, guys? That looks pretty cool, huh? Yep. All right, so now. Let's pull this back down. You just kind of got to reverse engineer what you did yep. here. It doesn't really matter front to back. You just got to make sure that you these get your track on there. Pre drilled these. Yep. You know, this right so now guys, when we had this off the first time, when it was just all carbon fiber, we didn't have the red paint on here yet when we test fitted this. The holes here, like we were talking about in the very beginning of the video, these holes were, were a little too small. So we just, we just uh, bored them out a little bit, make them a little bit bigger. We did that on all of the holes and that allowed us to get the adjustments that we needed. Okay, and the only other thing that I can tell you is that they the kit comes with a screw here, right, right here. Don't lose those. Um, when and it's my fault. <laughs> um, I actually lost the two screws that came. We moved them out of the way so I wouldn't scratch something, and so um, when it went when they went down to the paint shop, those were lost. Um, so we went to, had to go down to Ace Hardware and get some new. Uh, I think they're M. M4s, weren't they? M4, M4 metrics, yeah. Where the originals are standard, not yeah, metric. Right. So, so the two torques that you saw that was coming out of here in this corner, those are not reused. Um, so, all everything else and and on the whole thing is reused screws except for these two corner pieces. So you're gonna make sure that you don't lose the two screws that comes with the with the halo. Okay. Um, so. Uh, I definitely learned my lesson. So, anyway, not to mention to hear John go, "What? You lost my stuff?" <laughs> so, anyway, because there was a little bit of time involved here. Um, when Extreme sent us this this part, uh, between then and and us getting it fitted and then sent down to the body shop and then back, we're probably a month and a half, two months on this. So. Um, so those screws were long gone. I tried to find them. There was no uh, chance. So, so anyway, but uh, this is not a hard job, guys. This is just a little bit of taking your time. And um, let's see, we just got the one right here. Yeah, you're going to keep that one there for this. So we're just going to go right here. There's this other screw right here. And then this is the extra one that we're going to have. I'm John, I'm going to give you that back so I don't lose it this time. I don't want to be blamed for it a second time. Okay, so that's literally it. John's going to tighten these up there, and then we'll go to the back. But um, again, this is not a hard job, guys. Um, it, it, this halo is very intimidating. It's very, it looks intimidating, but it really isn't. And uh, I think probably this is one of the only videos that's out on the internet that shows how to change this piece. Um, but uh, anyway, I think. Um, I think it's going to be a really, when we close this lid, you're going to really see what it looks like. It really looks really good. Oh, gee, thanks. So now he's got me filming and ratcheting. Great, right? Yeah. Well, if I can do this, guys, you can do it yourself. If you don't want to do this, reach out to us. We'll do it for you. We'll give you a quote for it, no worries. All right, we're on the back side. We'll put these screws in here. Just in reverse order is all we're done. 
Let's try to get them all started before I screw them all down. We're almost done, guys. I mean, you can see here, there's just the, there's the screws right there. The bolts, I should say. One's only got, he's gonna tighten that one up. What, you got one more? Yeah, I gotta tighten the other two. Go guys, that's what she looks like from the back side. That looks pretty cool. A real beautiful way a uh, weave to it, that's for sure. Nice and shiny. All right. All right. Let's put this seal on. Uh, we're gonna start on this side first. Put the lower side in first. It kind of falls into place for the first part. There you go. Now we gotta push this side in. If you can see the lip right here, we're gonna push that down and underneath the the molding. I see it. A little bit of pressure, right? That's yep. Just push them right there. All right. Just like that. I'm gonna come out of the way here and that side needs to let John push that down there. a little bit farther there. Yep. There it goes. You okay. Can see. Yep. Pop that into place. You see right now there? You can you can feel that lip all the way down now. Put our screws back in here. Yep. So we just got the two screws right here, and after that, we'll be done. All right, we've got our replacement screws here. These are metric M4, so they're only a half inch long. They don't have to be that long. But if you lose them, it's right there. And just screw this in. I can pull it back so you can see it going in. There you go. Now let's do the other side. And we'll be done. out of the way so you can see a little bit better. There you go. All right guys, there you have it. So take a look at that. <laughs> there you go. Seal look at that. that. Doesn't that nice. look beautiful? So you can see where that black seal is right there. And it seals the glass. But that I think just finishes the car. It just really looks good. Let me uh, let me just take you along there and let you see how that weave looks. Take a look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So guys, that's about as simple as it gets to be able to install one of these. If you guys are in the market of looking for one of these carbon fiber halos, then look no more. You can get it from Extreme Online Store. I'm going to put their information right here at the bottom of the screen. Um, it's uh, www.extremeonlinestore.com and uh, you can get one for yourself. Now, like I said, if you, if you want to be sure and customize it, uh, then you're going to end up having to take it down to the body shop and have them paint it right here. Otherwise, it looks really good. Um, I'll try to put a picture up there of what it looks like beforehand. So if you don't want to, to customize it, you don't have to because this is completely carbon fiber all the way down. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so if you're looking to have something that a lot of people don't have, this would be the item for you, okay? Because uh, you know that's one of the things that John likes to do about his car is he likes to have stuff that other people don't have. You can tell by the mural on the side and things like that. Um, he doesn't like to do everything that everybody else does. So anyway, that's one of the reasons that he did it. And so if you want to stand out at a car show or in the crowd, there you go. So guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And be sure and hit that bell to be alerted of our next uploads. 
I know it's been slow with me doing some of the, uh, with everything that's happened with my daughter, uh, but uh, we've, uh, you know, we're trying to push through and we're trying to be able to still get you guys some content. And uh, so I appreciate you guys subscribing. Uh, also, uh, pray for my daughter if you appreciate it. I appreciate the video. I would really like that. It would be great that you did that for her. So anyway, guys, thank you again all.